Well, aside from the wildfire risk, officials are also keeping hurricane season on top of mind, which officially begins on Saturday. In March, we showed you how the Florida Department of Transportation started building a new seawall along a stretch of A1A. That's seen a number of washouts since Hurricanes Ian and Nicole hit. Now, work is also underway to protect the shoreline in Brevard County here, especially the Titusville Causeway, which has seen erosion for years. But officials say a permanent solution could be on the way. As News 6's Mark Lehman shows us, the project is also designed to restore the Indian River Lagoon. Two, three. It's a first of its kind project for the state of Florida happening along the Titusville Causeway. I mean, it's everything working together towards mm -hmm. one common goal. One common goal is to protect the shoreline and create a better habitat offshore. Dr. Andrew Reese is with Sea and Shoreline. They're leading the charge on a $4.2 million multi-habitat resiliency project. It all started with DOT and Brevard County starting to lose their shoreline and part of the causeway. Part of the solution is deploying what are called wave attenuation devices or WADs. They're designed to absorb wave energy that's generated from severe storms. That energy will come through here, but any sediment that's in the water column, you know, it's pretty heavy, any sand, it's gonna fall out behind it. One of the first steps of this project is fabricating these wave attenuation devices. Concrete will be poured for 648 of them. They'll then be placed along the shoreline to protect from current and future erosion. But the wads are just part of the solution. Sand will be brought in to restore the shoreline along with four acres of seagrass and one million clams will be added to the Indian River Lagoon. And that seagrass is the underwater rainforest that provides all the habitat for the fish and critters that uh, we love uh, the diversity and abundance of this lagoon. Virginia Barker is the director of Brevard County's Natural Resources Office. She says the much needed changes will enhance the water quality of the lagoon and habitat for wildlife. The project tackling several issues and expected to be finished next spring. It's a, it's a very multi-purpose project, right? We're trying to accomplish a lot of things all at once. In Titusville, Mark Lehman, Getting Results, News 6.